see how excited I am. I'm like, you know, so calm. Actually, I'm like, ah! inside because Adam Lambert is gonna be on that stage in like two seconds. Like, come back, what are you talking? You know, he's gonna be talking to y'all, and you, you're gonna see that soon. I'm actually different. I'm actually shaking because it's Adam Lambert. And you know, I actually took a picture with him. I'm on Twitter for you, like right now. Like, can you see that tiny little picture? That's him. No, that's a CD, but <laughs> Adam Lambert suit. So, uh, you know, I don't look at first, second, third as really all that important. I think the important thing is the exposure and the opportunities that are presented to a contestant after the show's over. Uh, the eyeliner thing, there's nothing set in stone that, I mean, it would be cool, but I, I don't have any immediate plans. Uh, as far as the clothes go, you know, I just, I like playing dress up. I like wearing kind of eccentric stuff that's a little bit special. I always have. And now, yes, I am fortunate enough to work with a stylist. Um, but not all the time. Sometimes I just go out and shop and put my own thing on. <laughs> and you know, he doesn't do the nails himself anymore. He eats it's perfectly manicured. Look. Oh, yeah. I tried to. Okay, oh, different like shades. Yours. yours are silver. I like that. You know what? I'll trade with you later. Okay. okay. Sounds okay. great. You got the shoe too. I don't know if I'm into the heels. I mean, I like them on you, but I, the heels are not for me. I'm, I'm into boy shoes. <laughs> Can I just tell you, it's sparkly, everyone. Oh yeah, little shiny, like, snakes. Uh, you know, I'm going to start working on a new album in the winter, after this tour is over, and hopefully have it out by the spring or summer of next year. Uh, Gaga wrote one of the songs for the CD called Fever, and I had a great experience working with her in the studio. Um, she, she gave me some advice and some insight into what this new life would probably be like. So I thank her for that. And then Katy Perry showed me support even as early as, uh, as Idol. She came on the show and was very supportive. So those are two artists that I feel like I had a great rapport with and had a great exchange with. And they definitely gave me a lot of insight and inspiration. You know, it really helps to have cool, close, amazing people with me on my journey. Um, in this show tonight, I have a band that I love. I have a group of dancers that I love. And they have become like a family to me and a support system. So having people around me that, that I identify with, that I can have a good time with and laugh with, that really helps me stay normal as possible. Um, just just having experiences that are that are you know that are like what you guys do for fun, you know. Like I know that if if you uh, want to go out with your friends, what do you do? You go to dinner, you know. You have a couple drinks, you laugh, you talk. That's like those 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 nights, those experiences, those are things that I think we're all entitled to. So I try to just have normal experiences. Go shopping, go sightseeing, take a walk, you know, <laughs> things like that. Have we been able to do that here in Malaysia? Not yet, but I'm going to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. when are we leaving tomorrow? Oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, but late tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow will be a day spent exploring. Oh, do you like food? Yeah, I love food. Do you like durian? It's like the best food in the world. What is it? Durian is our national fruit. I haven't tried it yet. It's prickly like my shoes. Is it the pink thing with the... It's green and prickly. And usually when you enter hotels, it says, please don't bring durians. Oh, I've heard it smells funny. Right? Fantastic. I've heard about this. Yeah, I've heard. We're going to check your tweets tomorrow and see if you actually try <laughs> okay. the king of fruits here and everything. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I can't really imagine myself not being in the arts in some respect. I mean, I, I'm a creative person. I always have been since childhood. But if I didn't go into anything creative, I would probably have gone into psychology or, or counseling of some sort, social work of some sort, help people with, you know, their problems. I think that they definitely can. I think that visibility is a real amazing platform to bring certain issues to light. And um, I actually, my, my It Gets Better um, uh, is coming out very, very shortly. I, I filmed it already. And, I think that my message to uh, the youth uh, of the U.S. and to the world is that, you know, you should be proud of who you are, and I know that it's hard. Um, you know, someone like me, I, I was supposedly successful, and I'm still bullied, in a sense, by certain groups, by certain, um, certain journalists, in a way, um, and also by the general public. I mean, if you go on the internet, for example, and you go down into, like, a comment section, there's a lot of hate, but you know what? If I focused on the hate, and let it affect me, I'd be letting that, that, that hate win. And I refuse to do that. I'm gonna focus on the positive and focus on the love and ignore all the hate and negativity.
And we know what we want from you. What do you want from Malaysia? <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, I just want to have a good time tonight. I think we're going to have an awesome concert. I can't wait to see the smiling faces and all the glitter and the glam. And uh, I hope you guys rock out. And there you go. You know what? I've never seen Malaysia press so hungry. Yeah. 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 Jumping all over each other. <laughs> and that is all because of Adam Lambert. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. One last chance for both of